know what time it is. That's right. It's time for some power rankings. New York football, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love that the Giants are 4-1. and one. I love that the Jets are 3-2. and two. It feels like they haven't lost in months. Plenty more excitement awaits in what should be a thrilling Week 6. But with all that said, let's dive into our Week 6 edition of the 2022 NFL Power Rankings. Number 32, Carolina Panthers. Last time's ranking, 29. Another ugly loss at home, this one courtesy of the San Francisco 49ers. And it mercilessly ended the Matt Rule era. David Tepper fired him one day after the Panthers fell to 1-4 on the year, along with defensive coordinator Phil Snow. Steve Wilkes will finish the season as the coach. The Panthers are reportedly ready for a massive fire sale, too. May as well begin the scorched earth tank job and give yourself the best possible shot at CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. Number 31, Detroit Lions. Last time's ranking, 28. The Lions were no match for Bill Belichick's New England Patriots in Foxborough on Sunday. The NFL's best offense was shut out, and the league's worst defense was gashed by rookie third stringer Bailey Zapp in the Pats' ground game. And so Detroit is now 1-4. Very disappointing, considering how many of us expected some big-time improvement from Dan Campbell's squad in 2022. Number 30, Washington Commanders. Last time's ranking, 31. Carson Wentz is racking up the passing yards and passing touchdowns, but his turnovers continue to be the defining issue. He was picked off by David Long near the goal line in the waning seconds of their Week 5 showdown with the Titans, thus extending Washington's losing skid to four games. This season is going off the rails, and the Commanders must regroup quickly. Why do you think the teams in the division are farther ahead at this point? Quarterback. Up next, Thursday night showdown with the Chicago Bears on a short week. Yuck. Why would the NFL do this to us? Number 29, Pittsburgh Steelers. Last time's ranking, 25. It certainly looks like the Steelers will suffer their first losing season since 2003. A miserable 38-3 road loss to the Buffalo Bills on Sunday drops them to 1-4 through 5 games, and there aren't any real positive developments to think of. Number 28, Houston Texans. Last time's ranking, 32. It wasn't pretty, but Lovey Smith's Texans did just enough to squeak by the Jacksonville Jaguars and pick up their first win of 2022. The defense Defense held down the fort, and Damian Pierce continued his impressive rookie year with 99 rushing yards and a touchdown. This hard-fought victory is something to build on for a franchise with minimal expectations right now. Number 27, Las Vegas Raiders. Last time's ranking, 27. They had it. A 17-0 lead against the Kansas City Chiefs. They are not the first team to give up a lead to the Chiefs, but still, this one hurts. It drops the Raiders to 1-4 with virtually no chance of competing for the AFC West title. Number 26, Chicago Bears. Last time's ranking, 26. Hey, credit to the Bears for nearly pulling off a stunning upset against the NFC North leading Minnesota Vikings, but they just couldn't close it out. David Montgomery was Chicago's best offensive player all game, and Justin Fields showed some improvement with 208 passing yards and 47 rushing yards. Tough loss, sure, but they have a prime opportunity to get back to 500 with a home game against the slumping Commanders coming up. Number 25, New Orleans Saints. Last time's ranking, 30. The Saints are barely hanging on with a plethora of injuries, but they did just enough on offense to sneak by the Seattle Seahawks in an epic duel at the Superdome. Now at 2-3, and three, the Saints remain very much alive in the playoffs race, but they need to get healthy and Dennis Allen's defense has to figure things out. Number 24, Denver Broncos. Last time's ranking, 16. We have no more answers for the Broncos' horrible offense. They gift-wrapped that game to an Indianapolis Colts team that was also doing their best to lose. Will Russell Wilson eventually figure it out or is this just what the Broncos will be? Fans were leaving before overtime even started. Yeah, I watched it here at Empower Field. Number 23, Atlanta Falcons. Last time drinking, 21. The Falcons should feel good about only losing to the Bucks by six without Cordell Patterson and Kyle Pitts. They got absolutely robbed by that atrocious roughing the passer call on Grady Jarrett, which helped Tampa ice the game. I just don't know how you call that. That is not in the spirit of the rule, the way it was created to protect quarterbacks going to the ground. On another note, Marcus Mariota just isn't getting it done as a passer. Might we see Desmond Ritter in there before long? What does Arthur Smith have to lose? Number 22, Seattle Seahawks. Last time's ranking, 20. Geno Smith had another superb outing on Sunday, but the Seahawks' wretched defense had absolutely no answer for a New Orleans team missing Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry. 
This is just what the Seahawks are, a competitive team with a prolific offense to stay in games, but also an atrocious defense that'll keep them out of the playoffs. Number 21, Jacksonville Jaguars. Last time's ranking, 18. The Jaguars put up their biggest stinker of the season in a loss to Houston. What a blown opportunity to remain tied atop the AFC South. Then again, 2-3 and three ain't half bad for a team that won just three games all of last year. They have certainly exceeded expectations up to this point, although that's not really saying much. Number 20, Cleveland Browns. Last time's ranking, 19. The Browns could easily be 5-0, but the Browns just seem to be one of those teams who doesn't know how to close out those close games yet. The defense has been surprisingly below average, and that's the main reason why they're under 500. If it weren't for Nick Chubb's play right now, who knows how bad this team would be. Number 19, Indianapolis Colts. Last time's ranking, 23. The Colts probably didn't feel super thrilled about their Week 5 road win in Denver, but hey, a win's a win, and at 2-2-1, they're very much alive and well in the playoff race. They're not playing good football by any means, but being 500 is a testament to Frank Reich's excellent coaching. Number 18, Arizona Cardinals. Last time's ranking, 17. There shouldn't be much shame in losing to the NFL's last remaining undefeated team, but Arizona really squandered a glorious opportunity. Bad clock management at the end prevented a potential game-winning touchdown, and kicker Matt Amendola missed a game-tying field goal attempt in the final seconds. Just a brutal way to lose. But at least none of their division foes are playing like world beaters right now. Number 17, New York Jets. Last time's ranking, 24. The Jets are three and two? The Jets are three and two? Is that right? And just like that, they are one win away from matching last year's win total. Yes, playing a Miami team that was down to their third stringer quarterback following Teddy Bridgewater's head injury made things easier, but still, a 47 to 17 blowout win is nothing to scoff at. Zach Wilson is looking much more composed in his sophomore season, and Ahmad Sauce Gardner looks like the early favorite to win Defensive Rookie of the Year honors. Things haven't been this positive in Gotham for quite a while now. Number 16, New England Patriots. Last time's ranking, 22. One week after a moral loss at Lambeau Field, the Patriots played 60 minutes of fundamental football and crushed the Lions 29-0. Realistically, this team could easily be 4-1 with a few bounces and some better health. The New England schedule is very manageable for the next little while. Don't be surprised if they climb back into the AFC's top wildcard spot sooner rather than later. Number 15, Los Angeles Rams. Last time's ranking, 13. Is it time to start worrying about the Rams? I mean, they barely put up a fight against the Cooper Rush-led Dallas Cowboys at home on Sunday, and it all starts with their struggles on offense. LA is averaging just 16 points per game through five games. How is that possible with all that firepower? Number 14, Miami Dolphins. Last time's ranking, five. If Tua Tagovailoa doesn't get injured, Miami might very well be 5-0. The offense just doesn't click without Tua, and it's clear that Miami isn't a legitimate contender unless he's on the field. The Dolphins had no answers against the Jets on Sunday, and now it's anyone's guess as to who will be under center for them in the weeks to come. Number 13, Tennessee Titans. Last time's ranking, 14. Beating the Commanders wasn't overly impressive, but the Titans don't need to apologize for anything. They're sitting pretty at top to AFC South at 3-2 after dropping their first two games. A productive Derrick Henry coming off his second straight 100-yard game is really making all the difference in the world for this team. Number 12, Los Angeles Chargers. Last time's ranking, 12. The Chargers nearly lost to the Browns due to a questionable fourth down decision by Brandon Staley. Fortunately for the Bolts, Cade York's game-winning field goal attempt missed wide right, and so LA is back to above 500. They have the talent, they just need to stop trying to give these games away with really stupid decisions. Maybe it's time for Staley to cool it with the aggressive play calling. Did anyone ever tell you you play a very aggressive game? We had a lot of confidence in the plan. Number 11, Cincinnati Bengals. Last time's ranking, six. There is no shame in losing on the road to the Ravens. Cincinnati's defense performed well and Joe Burrow made some big plays, but in the end, it wasn't enough. Cincinnati could totally be 5-0 if not for a few bad breaks. Eventually, the bounces will go their way though. They are a bona fide contender and a force to be reckoned with in the AFC. Number 10, New York Giants. Last time's ranking, 15. It's officially time to take the G-Men seriously. They pulled off a gutsy comeback win against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers in London. That's nothing to scoff at. Daniel Jones is doing his job, managing the game by protecting the football. The defense is elite, and Saquon Barkley looks as good as ever. Maybe the Giants are a playoff contender after all. 
Number 9. Dallas Cowboys Last time's ranking, 11. Cooper Rush and the Dallas defense paved the way for a convincing road win against the defending champs. And there we were just four weeks ago, thinking Dallas was done for after losing Dak Prescott to injury. The defense has had something to say about that, though. Rush has now won all four of his starts. He'll be in tough to make it five, though, as Dallas prepares for a Week 6 showdown against the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday Night Football. Number 8. Tampa Bay Buccaneers Last time's ranking, 10. The Bucs narrowly held on against an overmatched Falcons team at home, thanks largely to a terrible roughing the passer call on Grady Jarrett. Tampa Bay isn't exactly firing on all cylinders, but the offense is picking it up now with Chris Godwin and Mike Evans back in the lineup. Looking ahead at their schedule, and a 6-3 start looks awfully likely. Number 7. Baltimore Ravens Last time's ranking, 9. The Ravens got back to business and finally learned to close out a game at home. Justin Tucker's last second field goal put Baltimore atop the AFC North standings. And believe us, this team hasn't hit its peak just yet. Seriously though, how nice must it be to have an X-Factor like Tucker on your team? Does the dude ever miss? Number 6. San Francisco 49ers Last time's ranking, 8. What a week for the 49ers. Not only did they easily defeat Carolina on the road, but all three of their NFC West rivals lost on Sunday as well. And just like that, the 49ers lead the division and are finally discovering their full potential. Number 5. Green Bay Packers Last time's ranking, 3. More blown opportunities for the Packers who can't be happy coming back home after losing to the Giants in London. But hey, it could be worse. They could easily be 1-4 instead of 3-2. They'll figure it out offensively as the season goes along. We're not too worried. Number 4. Minnesota Vikings Last time's ranking, 7. It's not too early to talk about Justin Jefferson's MVP chances. He is carrying the offense amid up and down play by Kirk Cousins. This team wouldn't be 4 and 1 without Jefferson's all world performances in week 4 and week 5. Kevin O'Connell would have plenty of coach of the year votes if the season ended today. Number 3. Kansas City Chiefs. Last time's ranking, 4. Never count out Patrick Mahomes, especially when he has his buddy Travis Kelsey out there with him. Four touchdown receptions? Are you kidding me? The Chiefs are rolling right now. And hey, just in time for their epic battle against the next team on our list. Number 2. Buffalo Bills Last time's ranking? 2. The Bills once again cement themselves as the team to beat by making easy work of the Steelers. Game planning against Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs was tough enough to begin with, but now Gabe Davis is playing at a pro level and Allen has only been sacked eight times through five games. Number 1. Philadelphia Eagles Last time's ranking, 1. It wasn't the Eagles' best performance on either side of the ball, but you know what? The best teams always find a way to win. Jalen Hurts made enough plays in the fourth quarter, and the Philadelphia defense kept Kyler Murray in the Arizona passing game in check to secure the win. And with that, the league's last remaining undefeated team stays atop our list. But who do you think is the NFL's best team through five weeks? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.